Well, hello there guys, it's Pond2000. Yes, I have a voice. I don't use it a lot. I'm only using it now because it'll be much easier to edit this video instead of using subtitles. Anyways, I'll be showing you how to get the Winner's Wings 2.0, as well as all 12 badges. So, without further ado, let's begin. Starting with Piggy. To get the Piggy badge, click on RB Bells on the bottom right of the menu. You'll be teleported to a new map. Enter to join in. You gotta launch a walk while being inside and then escape using an escape pod. To get started, find 4 pages that has a number. The first one is at the back of a truck. The second one is at the end of the map behind 3 crates. The third is at a corner next to a key lock. And the fourth is at the back right corner of the storage shelter. Then go to the number pad that was behind the truck and enter the 4 digit code. In the lock will be a blue key. Use it to open the blue safe to get a blue wire. Put the wire in the circuit that was near the rocket. Then look around the map to find 4 frames with one of them being colored in order. They won't be too hard to find. Then enter the code of the color pad that was in the storage shelter. You will get the purple key. Use it to unlock the purple safe that will have the purple wire. And put the wire on the circuit with the other wire. Lastly, pick up 3 normal wires that will be in any corner of the map. And attach them onto a wired line that's connected to a lock. Once all three wires are put down, the lock will open. It will contain the green key which you will use to unlock the green lock to get the green wire. Put the last wire on the circuit and the rocket will launch. But it's not over yet, now you gotta escape the rocket using an escape pod. Find two batteries on the floor and put them in the battery box. Then use the screwdriver to correctly attach three pipes, which will give you access to a symbol pad. The code for the symbols are hidden in the ship. One is here, another is here, and another is here. I couldn't find the last one, but that doesn't matter, you can guess the last one. Enter the code of the symbols and just like that you will get in an escape pod and beat the map as well as getting the badge. To get the badge from Funky Friday, follow the boxes that will lead you to an obby. Complete the obby course, it won't be too hard like last time, just be careful with the letters. And at the end, go on the ready pad, wait 30 seconds. You'll be having a rhythm battle with the judges. You have to reach a score higher than 30,000. If you're an average rhythm player, go on a private server, it's free and do this yourself, it'll be much easier. Once the round ends with a perfect score, you will get the badge. To get the badge from Swapping Walls, click RB Battles Challenge on the menu. You'll be teleported to a map called Planet Bloxmart. When the round starts, fill your card with items and then go to the cashiers at the center of the map. Buying the items will increase your cargo bar. Continue doing this until your cargo bar is full. Once that's done, grab the keycard that is under the building of the spawn and then enter the escape pod that is either at the top of the map or the bottom. Keep in mind that only one player can use the escape pod. So try to be the first player to get in the escape pod, and just like that, you'll get the badge. To get the badge on Super Golf, you must beat the cyber map in under 88 strokes. You can't do this on a private server, only public. I'm only showing you this on a private server cause it'll be easier for me. I recommend joining a small server that's doing this on the cyber map. Once you reach the end in under 88 strokes, you'll get the badge. To get the badge in Wacky Wizards, go through the Arby Ballas portal on spawn. You'll be teleported to an obby course racing other players. Select the potion which you believe is most useful to you and then reach the end of the obby course once the game starts. You have to be first, second or third to get the badge. If this is too hard for you then keep selecting the best potions each round and soon enough you'll reach the end in seconds. To get the badge in Tower of Heck, go through the door that says Arby Battles. You'll be teleported to, well, more heck. You better hope someone bought invincibility cause it'll make this obby slightly more easier. Do the obby and reach halfway to the top. There'll be two sides you can go to. Go to the white side to get the green halo. Go to the left side to get the blue halo. And then go to the top to get the purple halo. Then reach the very top to find a door. Unlock it using the three halos and then touch the glowing door at the end. Getting the badge. Out of all the badges, this may be the hardest one to get. Cause if you die, you'll be teleported back at the bottom. So good luck. To get the badge from Arsenal, click on the event icon, then select the challenge game mode. You'll be racing through a shooter challenge. Deal headshots to lower your timer and then reach the end in under 90 seconds to get the badge. To get the badge in Sonic Simulator, go through the pole that's at the end of the starting world. You'll be teleported to an Arby Ballas Obby where you have to reach the top with 25 star balls. Yeah, that's what I'm calling them. 
Follow me to find the location. I'm gonna speed this up cause it'll take a while. And just like that, land on the finish button and you'll get the badge. Apparently I got another badge from doing this again. Huh. To get the badge from this small game called Adopt Me, you must activate 3 crystals near a bridge. The green crystal is at the white side of the wooden bridge, the blue crystal is at the front of the more stable bridge, and the purple crystal is at the front of the stone bridge. After that, fly the balloon that's at the center. You'll have to pay $5 which isn't a lot. The balloon will take you to a castle on a floating cloud. Go inside and follow what I'm doing. Go through the door at the end of the stairway, then use the jump pads to land at the tippy top of the castle to collect a trophy. This trophy will give you the badge. To get the badge from Builder Boat for treasure, you must join or create a best border challenge against other players. Reach the end or first place to get the badge. To get the badge from Jailbreak, you must first escape prison using the sewers, then get in a car and drive to a building that has a massive Arby Bells logo on top. Follow where I'm going. Once you're there, go inside the building. The judges will be there and they'll be telling you to do a small obby course. This will not be so difficult. Make it to the end and you'll get the badge. To get the badge in Mount Everest, go to the climber that's near the Arby Bells logo. He will tell you to climb the mountain and reach Camp 3, which is located 5200 meters above. This is easy, but it will also take a while, so follow what I do.
Once you make it to Camp 3, the same guy you met at the start will be here. He will congratulate you and give you the badge. Now you have all 12 badges. Then finally, go to Abbey Battles, enter the badge room, all the badges will light up and just like that, you will get the Winner's Wings 2.0. That is all I have to say for this video. If you guys want, you can go ahead and like and subscribe to support my content. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace out and stay happy. I'll see you all in the final. It's gonna be exciting.